<laughs> Gee, you know an awful lot of tricks. Mm -hmm. You're not a professional magician, are you? No, I'm not a magician. Oh, I'm just joking. You really don't? Previously on Citizen Can. Alan! Al! Alan! He is the one. Magic! Power at 400% capacity. How about that? It basically uses documented API to enable locked fields to show hidden fields and so on. Let's say you want account name to be locked from this user. So what you need to do is to use field security. So how come field security work? What's the difference? The difference is, well, let's, let's first lock the field. So we, we show we're serious, right? Let's create a solution. Field S, we call it, field sec. Yeah, I'll use default publisher, it's okay. Now, field security is not available in uh, this UI yet. So we need to switch to classic. Classic. Adjective. Having a high quality or standard against which other things are judged. Classic. Adjective. Typical. Having all the characteristics or qualities that you expect. Classic. Adjective. Traditional. Having a simple, traditional style that is always fashionable. Now what we can do is... We can create a new field security profile. If I'm admin, I should be able to read it anyway. So I don't need to create security profile, but just to show, let's say title readers, company changers. Mm -hmm. I know it's a long title, but it's catchy. So users, we just going to add ourselves. So who, who am I? I'm uh, who am I? <laughs> oh gosh. I think I'm Aren't uh, you Alan. No. I may be George. Or evil George. But I may be Doug. Identity crisis. I'm, a, I'm a one of the two, but I'm not Alan. That's, that's what's important. Oh, so that's not Alan. Now we go into field permission, which... Oh, this exists in field permission. Yeah, you need to go turn it on. Out of the box. So we need to create one. So we'll close this one for now. Let's go to add a contact. Are you too young to remember this interface? No, I, I use this a lot. This is where it began. I prefer it. It's beautiful. I don't care about metadata. So we need to add... Primary contact? Pro, 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 is it? Parent no, customer it's not. ID. It's parent, yeah. And job title. Yes, please. Job title. I haven't done this in a while. So if you feel I'm doing something wrong, you tell me. That's okay. You're doing well so far. Thank you. Okay. What do we do with this? Turn on field security. Doing... Same and close, da -da. right? Yep. And yeah. parent customer ID. Okay. What do we do? Turn on field, field security. security. <gasps> we can't turn it on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Looks like you're going to have to find a different way to fix it, Jeff. One, one field at a time. So we applied that. So we'll go to field security profile. We go here. Job title should appear here. Here we are. And now what we say, allow read, no. Allow updates, yeah, we can allow updates. I don't care, no. Allow create, uh, no. Everything is no. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I added wrong people here. I need to add Alan here. But we don't want him to see it. Oh, we want him to see it, but not update it. I don't want him to see it. So I added to this profile. Uh, okay, yep. So field permissions, no. Read, no. Update, no. Create no. But hold up, hold up, hold up. If you've got field level security and you don't add someone to a profile, by default, they get nothing. So even I didn't have to add the profile, right? So, so even by turning on the field level security, it's done. But if we wanted to maybe show it, but he can't update it, let him read it, but don't let him update yeah. it. So I'll go to this super tool SQL and say, show me job title, right? Look at that. They're both null now, meaning that no data. If I go back and say, we're allowed to read this field. Now they see CEO. Uh, they see okay. the data. Okay. Yeah. So I can switch it on and off. So this one forces it at the back end, right? So yeah. you can't access, if I say no, 
then you can't get the data, you can't update yeah. it. So if you open UI, so let's go ahead and try UI. So let's refresh and let's say God mode. Do, 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 do. Da, da, da. God mode. Doom. But you still can't see it. Look at that. There's nothing to look at. That's the problem. You should have gone for the head. Nothing to look and it's locked. And God mode, entering God mode changed nothing. It didn't change the fact that you can't update it. You can't look at it, you can't update it. I like it. So that's the way to secure. We still can fiddle with this one. So how do we stop it? Because we cannot enable field security. Off top of my head, since we are in a classic solution anyway, let's go ahead. Security roles. No. What? No, security roles. What uh, What are you going to do? You change the append to of contact. Remove the append to permission. Well, first of all, you need to block it on both, but that would that would be for everyone. For anyone with the role. Alan has lots of roles, I believe. Let's take a look what roles Alan has. Platform, manage security role, basic user, customer service representative. Okay, let's remove. Yes. Let's clean Just it keep up. Them as basic. Sa sales? No. Uh, customer service. Yeah, you need, to app, need access to the app. Okay. I gave him basic user and uh, sales app, app and salesperson. Right. That should be enough. Okay. Now let's go and. Basic user, edit. Basic user, edit. So it's the contact append to i think but you removing everything it will solve your problem but you're gonna break all the relationships what do you mean all the relationships you will not be able to attach contact or well in our case we want account right so parent account so it's a cat attach append. append to contact and append account we want to remove these permissions. It will solve the problem, but you will not be able to associate contact with anything if you've got any other relationships. Append and append to, they yeah. for all relationships, right? So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a hammer, it's gonna work. What I like. But it's a bit too drastic. So if you want some fineness, we need to go with uh, this one. Well, that's controversial in itself. Stopper. Was it contact? Yeah. Contact. No, I don't want to run in background. That's the point, right? We're not. It's the only reason you're allowed in here. We're not running in background. Scope organization. I'm just kind of going blanket, but when record, uh, when record fields change. It is updated. Company, parent account, company name. Company name. Okay, when that's changed. But that's also going to stop everyone. Well, we can add additional checks here, right? We we can uh, we can be smart here. I'm just doing the simplest possible thing. You cannot do that, Alan. Right? We're targeting Alan, but uh, it should stop it for everyone. It'd be nice to have a conditional where you put in the right name. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. So we go in here. Backward all began. And the same. The magic rocket. God mode. Alan does what he wants. Save. Alan doesn't. Oh. Oh. We didn't activate the workflow. I thought we did. No, we didn't. <laughs> Dynamics 101 with George Shabinsky and Amy Holden. How to make a workflow work. Step one, activate. And now. Alan doesn't do what he wants. Best of sales. Not anymore, Alan. You're not allowed, Alan. Sit down. Look, there are a few ways to do it. If you want to execute some complex logic, you would ask developers to write a plugin that would check some combinations, but not others and so on. For a lot of fields, you can apply field level security. That works great. Bottom line is that God mode is nothing to be afraid of because God mode doesn't change the behavior of the system. <laughs> I thought it was something really religious related to God. I was like, God is almighty. Do not fear his power. Um, but not everyone believes that. I've got the power. 
goddess mod. What would goddess mod make you feel better? Ooh, sassy. It detects if it's uh, Alan, it's god mod. If it's Alice, it's like goddess mod. I'm not what you think I am. <laughs> That's such a great feature update for it. Gonna put in a request. One thing in the enterprise you can do you can stop users from installing extensions or certain extensions. You can block level up. Yes, you can. If you're concerned, but most likely you won't be able to block this. So I still, if I'm you can't stop the super team. smart user, I still can get here, I still can get, uh, you know, XRM page, get control, job title, set visible, set invisible, set visible. It's already visible. Uh, it's already showing the field. Yeah, you can show and hide it, but you still can't see the contents of it. Uh, what uh, What other ways to you to get what you want? You can use uh, Postman. The irony is the day someone complained. Hey, you know what else I think I need? Coast Woman. Is that Microsoft three days before published this video that is called guess what, using Postman with Dataverse Web API. So if you if you bother reading documentation and know how to use Web API, if your security role allows you to update job title, you will be able to update job title. And there is no way yeah. anyone can stop you doing that besides stopping it at the back end where it matters. Postman does what he wants. So user interface is just icing on the cake. It makes user job easier, but if users want to get around that, they can use web API, they can use data import. Open an Excel mod. That's right. Goodbye, read only. Goodbye. Goodbye, read only. Do what you so want. So if I want to change middle name, I can change middle name and nothing's going to stop me. You can change the account there as well because it's not on the screen. Oh, yeah, that's right. Company name? Yeah. I can probably do this. So here we're just kind of teaching people how to hack ways around things they're not meant to be doing. How to get what you want. Good, good. I'm glad. There are multiple ways to do it. We just showed that Postman, Microsoft published how to do it in Postman. You can do it using JavaScript, do it using uh, code, PowerShell script, and you can do it. It's XRM toolbox tool, tool inside the toolbox called SQL for CDS. And guess what? This SQL for CDS does allow updates. Do you know what my grandma would say? Go on. Apart from she doesn't understand what we're talking about. There's more than one way to skin a cat. That is correct. And there's more than one way to fudge in data that you're not meant to be fudging with. Thanks for listening. I'd say level up here to stay and nothing gets between me and my level up. My magic rocket. Until next time. Until next time. Feel me your call. Feel me your call. Don't forget ta 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 ta. I don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. Please, let's come back.